What's up, everybody? Jay here. So, um, I'm back. I'm back on YouTube. And, uh, if you didn't see my video earlier, I was out in my garden this morning picking some tomatoes and whatnot. And I did a video and I explained that I'm back on YouTube. And, uh, I get, I was talking about, uh, why my reason for my absence for the last couple months. And if you guys didn't see that video, uh, it is on this page and it's also on my Undesirables page. So go ahead and check that out. Uh, if you guys aren't subscribed to my page, go ahead and subscribe to my page. Make sure you are subscribed. Uh, support this page. It's uh, It doesn't cost anything, you know. Hit like and subscribe to my page. Support this page. I do appreciate all the support that I can get. So, uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, death rates and how they're increasing and why that might be. I mean, uh, on this channel, I got to be real careful about what I say on this channel because all the strikes I've gotten in the past, I know they're watching this channel. They're watching it real hard and I got to be real careful about what I say. So, uh, the things I say and the things that I don't say, you guys have to read in between the lines and put things together. You know, you guys have a brain. You were born with a brain. God gave you a brain, so I'm going to need you guys to go ahead and use it. You know, put things together. You know, things I don't say, put one and one together for me, okay? Um, so, death rates. Um, they've increased According to one insurance company and uh, some uh, digging that I've been doing and some research, by 40% in the last year. 40% increase in the last 12 months. Now, what could be going on in the world the last, I don't know, 12 months or so that um, could be causing a 40% increase in death rates? I have no idea what could be causing that. Um, if you guys have any ideas, uh, you guys could go ahead and leave that in the messages for me. Because I have no idea what could be causing death rates like in the last 12 to 18 months to increase by 40% or so. But um, if you guys have any ideas, please leave the comments in below in the comments section. But uh, I was going through and looking at some celebrity deaths just in the last uh, eight months through uh, uh, the 2022, right? And I came up with some, just a quick list of some names and some ages and what people did. This is just a real brief list that I went through. I mean, there was much, many, many more names, but I just took people's ages from like, under 70 say like people are expected to live it by the age of 70 and just found a few people that were famous and died under the age of 70 unexpectedly from heart attacks or some sort of sh blood clot related incident that they just died suddenly and i'm not going to read through all these names but uh, just a couple of them, you know, I found one guy, He was his name was Cedric McMillan. He was a bodybuilder. He was 44 years old. He was running on a treadmill and just collapsed and died instantly. Just, you know, they took him to the hospital. He was pronounced dead on, on arrival. And, um, it, I mean, he was a bodybuilder. And uh, people could say, you know, easily, it's easy go-to. You know, he was, a, you know, probably on steroids. Bad for your body you know oh just blame it on that but could have been steroids um maybe but anything else that could have caused that just i mean he he's way better shaped than probably 99 percent of people out there that i know of you right and then um there's a jeremy gam gamby who is a baseball player 47 years old baseball player professional athlete just collapsed and died from heart attack um yeah so like i said these 
deaths are up by 40% in the last over the last 12 months. Now, I was digging a little deeper and I was looking into hospitalization rates, right? The hospitalization rates actually peaked in January of 2022. Now, that is uh that is actually a t very interesting because they peaked at 2022 in the very beginning of January 2022 they peaked but since 2022 when hospitalizations peaked deaths have been up 40 percent since then you, you did you hear what I just said do I need to say it again hospitalizations were peaked in January of 2022 but since the beginning of January of 2022, so hospitalizations have been down since then, death rates have been up since then. That's, that's very interesting, right? So um, all these heart attacks, these strokes, these uh, blood clots that people of all ages are getting from teenagers to 90 some years old are just pulling out and you can see these things on uh, multiple platforms they pull these things out and they look like something out of a sci-fi movie they look like squids like the big brown black like the squid looking monsters that they pull out of people it's unbelievable what they're pulling out of people. Now, it, it's what could be causing that, right? Uh, I have no idea. But this has just been happening within the last 12 months or so. So, one more fact that I'm going to be saying that this is what the CDC has been saying, right? So, this this is their statistics, okay? This is this is what they're saying. So this is what they say. So vaxxed with no boosters, so just like the two shots or just one shot, right? You are three to twelve times more likely to be hospitalized than if you're not vaxxed, okay? But then you are 20 times more likely. Hold on, I messed that up. Okay, you are 20 times more likely to be hospitalized if you're not fully vexed. Like if you have one shot or two shots, but no, no booster. But you are 13 times more likely if you are fully vexed. So if you are only partially vexed, right you actually are increasing your chances of being hospitalized so if you're not vaxxed at all if you get one or two shots you're increasing your chances of being hospitalized all right that that's from the article from the CDC that I understand so that's a little that's a little strange too but um I can say that I'm not jabbed, boosted, anything at all, and um, I I've never I haven't had Corona. I haven't had none of the variants. I've taken a, a test and it came out that I was positive, but I had no symptoms, felt completely fine, and like I said, I didn't even have like a headache, runny nose, nothing, but I was. But apparently I had coronavirus. The only reason I had to take it was because my co-workers had it. And uh, I had to take a test. And apparently I had it. <laughs> I don't know how that works. I don't know how you can be sick without being sick. But apparently I, I had to take off a week off for work. Like nine days or something from work when that happened. And um, I, I don't know. So you can... And then this is the only time in history that you can be sick without being having symptoms and then give 
this disease to somebody who was vaccinated against it. Pretty pretty good, right? That, that's some uh, magical disease right there. <laughs> but yeah, but um, also that uh, blacks are mo uh, black people are more uh, prone to be hospitalized than any other racial groups. Uh, more than Hispanics or whites. And um, like I said, that hospitalizations rates peaked in January of 2022, but deaths have increased since the beginning of January of 2022 by 40%. That's the data that I've researched. So that is a uh, pretty interesting telltale uh, information right there. So, if you guys have any idea what could be causing all these blood clots and um, these deaths, these celebrities just be dropping dead just suddenly, like, I, I have no idea what could be causing this. And um, I don't want to be pointing fingers at anything, man. And I just want everybody to stay safe. But if you guys have any idea what could be causing all this stuff, man, I'll, I want you guys to leave the comments down below because I don't want to be pointing fingers at anything. But, uh, please go ahead and leave your com comments down below family i love you guys everybody stay safe uh wash your hands stay clean okay everybody all right see you